My name is Alan Hart and today we're going to look at the F1 fault on the Wiesmann boiler. So this is the Wiesmann Vitadens 100. This is a 35 kilowatt combi boiler but it's the same fault on all of them. So I'm going to go through, um, I'll go through a few of the different faults that could be, um, that could cause F, an F1 fault. So if you've got any um, tips or if you've got any F1 faults that I haven't covered, please add them in comments below and then other people can, hopefully it'll help other people as well. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's have a look at the boiler now. One of the first things to check with an F1 fault is the pressure. If this pressure has dropped, if it's down here to zero, then you might just need to top the pressure up, which is just on these these taps underneath. And all you need to do to top the pressure up is open them taps. So that one, you'd open that tap uh, down. And then this one, if you open that tap, you would hear the pressure going up. And you can see there it's going up. Obviously that's too high now. We'd only, we'd only normally want this around one bar when the system is cold. The F1 fault is a circulation fault. So that could mean, it could mean that pumps faulty. It could also mean that there's air in the system. So what I'll do is I'll take the case off now. Um, always remember, if you're gonna take the case off a boiler, you must be gas safe registered. So we'll take the case off now. So as I say, always remember if you're going to take the case off a boiler, you must be gas safe registered. This is part of the seal for the combustion. On this one, we've got some some pipes here, and there's a there's a bleed point at the top here. You can connect a hose pipe on here, and you could bleed some of the air out of here. Sometimes this heat exchanger gets air in the coil and as I say you can bleed it from there. The most likely cause are, are the when I've been out to people the most the, the, the most popular F1 fault has been low water pressure. That's the normal cause. The the other the other cause um pump if the pump was faulty on this particular boiler, what I've done, so that I can get the F1 font, I, I've actually just disconnected the pump there. So obviously on this one, it would be, it's the pump that's faulty. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll plug that back in, I'll turn the power off, plug that back in, and then we'll have a look, make sure that that F1 fault goes. So I've plugged the pump back in now, so I'm just going to reset the boiler. See that temperature now going down that's getting the heat away from the boiler obviously because the pump wasn't working and the boiler tried to fire up inside the boiler was very hot and just turn that up and now the boiler will fire up so as i say on this f1 was the pump but f1 is a circulation issue so it could be, it could just be, it just needs topping up and it could be that it's pump or it could need air bleeding out of the system. So yeah, hope that was of some use. Thanks for watching.